Hey you guys, what's up? My name's Lenny. I am a second year dental student and I go to Tufts University. I'm so excited because I'm going to be working with PAT Crusher, an online PAT source for pre-dentals, to give you guys a six video series on the PAT. So each week I'm going to go through a different section of the PAT and detail what goes on in that section, tips and tricks, and how to get through each section. So I am so excited to give you guys this resource and hopefully you guys find it helpful and find it very useful in your studying for the DAT. And if you're not familiar, the DAT is the dental admissions test for dental school. So if you are thinking about applying to dental school, you will have to take this admissions test and the PAT is the perceptual ability section within the DAT. So today I'm going to be going over the angle ranking section within the PAT. So yeah, let's get into it. Angle ranking is the section we will cover in this video. There are 15 questions. Each question should take about 20 seconds for about five minutes total in this section. This section can be done very quickly to save time for the more time consuming sections. So how this works is there are four angles labeled one through four, and you must rank them from smallest to largest. In theory, this should be the easiest section. However, the angles can be as close as two degrees off from each other, therefore proving to be one of the harder sections. But I have some tips and tricks to help you guys out. So the objective, remember, of this section is to rank the angles from smallest to largest. And all of these examples are from the PAT Crusher website and the angle ranking generator. They have all types of questions in this section from easy, trainee to elite type of questions with 100 questions in each level. So first, I wanna tell you guys my approach and how you can very quickly guide yourself to the correct answer. In this approach, you will start by looking at the answer choices. If you look at the answers, you can see that the largest angle is either three or one. So now I can look at the angles and compare angle three and angle one. You can see that one is a bigger angle, so you can then go to your answer choices and eliminate those choices. So now you can have answer choices B, C, or D. So now we can look at the rest of the angles to see which one is the smallest. Three, four, or two. And you can see that four is the smallest. So if you look at the answer choices, you can see that C has angle four as the smallest and angle one as the largest. But the examples can get much harder, so I want to give you guys some test strategies to help you decipher the very difficult angles. So, if we go back to trying to figure out the smallest angle between either three, four, or two, we can easily eliminate angle three because that one is larger than two and four. But say you are stuck between angle two and four and cannot figure out which one is smaller. So first, try moving your head back from the screen and then move your eyes between the two angles, focusing on the inner angle very quickly. With practice, this will become easier and easier. So if you do this, you can hopefully tell that four is smaller. Another tip I have is to become very comfortable with what a 45 degree angle looks like so that you can easily compare that to other angles. And you also want to be able to visualize a 90 degree angle as well. This will come with lots of practice. Another strategy you can use is to try to position the line segments horizontally by slightly turning your head. If you do that, you can tell that the second angle is slightly less than 90 degrees. Once I have moved the angles to have the bottom line segments horizontally, you can easily see that the second angle is the smaller angle. Another strategy you can try is to see if there's anything exactly the same between the two angles. 
If you look at these two angles, you can see that the top segments lines are fairly parallel to one another. So then you can look at the bottom line segments here and see the difference between them. You can see by looking at the bottom line segments of both angles that the bottom angle is slightly smaller than the top angle. By finding something common, you can easily see what the difference is between the two angles. Sometimes the difference between the angles is so slight, so anything to help find the difference can be helpful. So let's apply all these strategies to an example. So let's start with my approach first and look straight to the answer choices to find either the largest or smallest angle. So looking right away at the answer choices, we can see that the largest angle is either 4, 3, or 1. So let's look at those angles first to see if we can tell which one is the largest. So if you look very quickly, you can see that 1 and 4 are larger than 3. So we can quickly eliminate angle 3 and answer choice B. And then looking between angles 1 and 4, you can tell that 1 is the larger angle. And if that is not obvious at first, you can move your head farther away from the screen and then try moving your eyes back and forth between the two angles. I also tried turning my head to get a better view of the angles. So now that we know that angle one is the largest angle, we can eliminate choices A and B. So now we can look at the smallest angle, which must be angle three or angle four. So let's look at those two angles now, and you can tell that angle three is the smallest. So C must be the correct answer. For further explanation, you can see what all the angles look like on top of each other. You can see that angle 3 is the smallest and angle 1 is the largest. These explanations can be found in the PAT Crusher Generator problems. Once you hit submit on each question, you can easily see what the correct answer is and the explanation. Okay, let's do another one. So first, let's look at the answers. So the largest angle is either 1 four, or two. Now let's look at those angles and see which one is the largest. Looking at the angles, four appears to be the largest. Let's eliminate answer choices B and D. So now let's look at the smallest angle. And so for our answer choices, it's either angle one or angle three as the smallest angle. So let's look at those now and see which one is the smallest. Looking at the angles, you can tell that 3 is the smallest angle. So answer choice C must be the correct answer. Here's the explanation again, and it shows that 4 is the largest and angle 3 was the smallest. Let's do one final example here. These angles here are more obtuse, rather than in the previous examples, those angles were acute. So we'll use the same approach here and look at the answer choices first. Looking for the largest angle, we see the choices are either angle one or angle two for the largest choice. So let's look at those angles now and see which one is larger. So it looks like to me that angle two is the larger one. If I turn my head a little, I can see the top of the line segment from angle two is more obtuse than the top line angle from angle one. So we can now go ahead and eliminate answer choice A. So now let's look at the answer choices for the smallest angle. It can be either angle one, three, or four. So let's look at those angles to see which is the smallest. If I turn my head a little, it looks like angle four is the closest to 90 degrees and therefore the smallest angle here. So the correct answer choice must be B. Here is the explanation for that example. You can see that angle four was the smallest and angle two was the largest. My last and final tip for this section is to not stare at one question for more than 20 seconds. It can be frustrating staring at one question for too long. So my advice is if you cannot seem to get it at first is to make the best guess you can, mark it, move on, and come back to it if you have time at the end. These questions can be very tricky and almost impossible to solve at times. So with a lot of practice, it will become easier and easier. 
to see the small differences between the angles. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I will link the website down below. If you guys want to do more practice problems, there is also a mobile app so you guys can practice your PAT on the go. And I have a code for you guys for the PAT Crusher. It is Eleni PAT20 for 20% off your account with PAT Crusher. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.